The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, time. All right, I don't know what time it is, yeah, man. Curly likes the voice box. I check in for one more bonus episode of In the Meantime, the one entitled Falabaka. This have to do with the man them, with them call Falabaka, you know? The man them run behind artists and celebrity. Who often end up a ball, a feelings are carrying, and one bag are falling out. So we'll get into the topic, and why inspire it, right after the break. And also, on this episode, I know me go a little further, you know, me talk about the topic all the time. You know, me kind of delve in it, but me not go too deep. But, you know, on today's episode, you know, we're going to dive a little further into the topic of, you know, narcissism. Do we truly know what or, or who a narcissist is? Well, the answers to, you know, to this and, and you know, much more questions where the item might have in relation to experiences where the item might have with who you know, consider a narcissist. But before we get into the show, you know, as usual, this section of the program is brought to you by Bounce About Kids Party Rentals. If you want to customize an experience that your child will never forget, it is definitely at Bounce About that is at B U N X about. For IG. I feel like Atlanta, Georgia, Stone Mountain to be precise, you know what I mean? And the item is away from that authentic Jamaican cuisine and stop at Dumpling House on a Friday night. And don't forget Planet Hurt, you know. My book Planet Hurt is also available at Dumpling House. So, yeah man, if you contact Dumpling House and bounce about, yeah man, the information in the description below. And this section is also brought to you by Renaissance Immigration Services. The maddest thing in Canada when it comes to anything related to immigration. So call Renaissance now at 437 703 1147 to 8 and the consultation is absolutely free. And as usual, if you're in America and you hear about Renaissance Immigration and say you don't want a service similar to this, don't panic. There is also a Lewis Law Professional Association. But like me always say, when the whole graveyard across is a runner down, Lewis Law can put a stop to it. Them deal with all things like visa, citizenship, removal of conditions, waivers, and all matters related to immigration in America. Call them now, 954-530-171777. In the meantime. Youngster is purple. I'm going to follow that. All right, before me kick it off, I just want to say big up to my Patreon squad, like a Sir P would I say. All right, you don't know, I want to say big up to every member of the channel and just about everyone who support the movement in any kind of way, you know what I mean? Big up those who... I have to tell for share and me have to tell for share, like and subscribe. And big up those who me have to tell. Or <laughs> never have to tell. It is very important, you know, to like the stream during the premiere of a video. Or after the premiere. You know what I mean? It helps with the visibility of the, the, the channel and it's vital to help in the message. Get out there, out there. In the meantime. So watch I know. I'm gonna start off with a VIP comment where I come from Davin the Ruler. It say. Hail Weissbox, I know on a regular basis you say that this show is not a gossip show. But I appreciate that you use social commentary to make practical examples of the things you've been teaching in in the meantime. I, for one, have found it very easier to learn when you show us how to apply those teachings through these current affairs. Dying to hear your take on the recent happenings between Popcorn and his one-time protege, Quadda. I believe the popcorn don't owe them a thing and them for move them beggy beggy self. A popcorn fall too because the bugger man not necessary. However, I hear that Quada is in the right regarding his statements that he made. As far as me know though, is one statement. I know half maybe there were more statements made but just to clear it up, me no know about no more statements. Which I'm going to explain in a few. However, I'm continuing to say, I know people close to the camp and most of them agree with Quada, so I know for certain that Popcorn is not a good person. 
let me know your opinion on this. All right, Davin, watch out now. I'm going to try to breeze through this, you know, as quickly as I can to get into the topic at hand. But also be reminded that this is a, this is a show about objective truth. And the objective truth of anything at all is not straightforward. There is layers and levels to it. I appreciate your recognition of the fact that it's not a gossip show. Well, I respect for that acknowledgement there. This popcorn versus squatter story, you know, have been the possibility of so much things being the problem. But before we get into that, um, I have met, you know, people who we can assume that everybody know what, you know, what happened between popcorn and quadra. All right, let me try to get into it real quick. All right. A couple of times I got popcorn to a show in Canada. And, um, you know, he have some attack, he have some falling out with the promoter because, you know, apparently there was some kind of issue, you know, with the, with the sound and them type of vibes. And the whole of the patron, them, you know, a ball. And I said, boy, they're not satisfied with it, you know, with the show, you know. So I, I think there is something, it's alleged that Popcorn go say, um, the promoter will give the people them the money and the promoter come, come say, boy, you know, him pay Popcorn hundred and thousand, you know, so if he's going return that and, you know, whole people go back and forth and some, well, if I throw out and some little foolishness. So Quadda now take to, well, Quadda, dance artist Quadda, who was the pro, one-time protege of Popcorn, take to social media and post the following. He say, how the fuck, well, TF, how TF a nigga can make $22 million for your show and not even would a share 100K with him crew where I support him. So $22 million would have been the equivalent of whatever currency Popcorn was paid in. And 100 k we might talk about now would have been 100 k Jamaican out of the 22 million Jamaican. What would have been the exchange for the 100,000? So now the seesaw effect come into full force now where, you know, many people who are learn new information now and start know what they mean in a words like entitled and accountability. Start say, boy, oh, Popcorn, oh, him, nothing, none. You know, that are the general consensus now. Is that the man, them a falabaka. And them to look work and them useless and them are no body and them just lazy. These are the general feedback. We may check many platforms and check in at the street and you know do my own investigation and you know me hear the feedback and this is what most people are saying. But me know said you know no matter how enough I want to say, I don't want an honest answer. I just want the same blame game. We excited. You know. Not purple people though. You have the average person. We just want to come this up to a fool and on a fire and then you know, excited for you with the next person I go set back in retaliation and the fuck continues. But who know me know? It's a purple nation no lean to no extreme with the right now the middle. Balance. So I go say again, in other cases and uh, every other case, most people just prefer go off of them emotion and them farm strong opinion. Half of what them don't know is them own illusion. In other words, them go create where them believes they are the problem based on them own assumptions. I don't know. Because them program for beliefs that them have an opinion or them dead or them don't exist. The story having the possibility of deeper issues where we now explore, where we don't like explore. For example, it is quite possible the man we are complaining sometimes have a pint. Sometime. And sometimes there's a man who does a complain because he's dark and he's ignorant and he's stupid. Some don't academically, some don't spiritually. And some all of the above. And them is really people who are watch your pocket and and don't have no consideration for all of your responsibilities and things where you have to deal with and them type of thing. They don't no have that consideration. They all them living is this anxiety will make them anxious and angry and bitter. Most of we know people like that. Me experience a situation. Well, many situations similar to that. And them are the hardest people to live with, work with, anything at all with. These kind of people exist. But again, see, sir, every time we hear any kind of incident like this, our first assumption is that it is about people who are lazy and who are work and they are just follow back. But sometimes these people, we are complaining, they're right, you know, but they just don't have the words to articulate themselves or explain themselves. They're not always wrong, you know. It's easier for people to embrace the more famous artists or celebrity at the center of things and ignore the value of the people who are easily labelled as falabaka, people who are look something, people who no want work. But in a reality, if me is to be fair, if, if, me, if, if I am to be fair, whole heap of artists will get credit, admiration and respect for the bagger it's song and just them overall status and where they manage to reach, couldn't reach them without these so-called falabaka. Hold on man, no kill me yet. Falabaka provide a vital service to artists or a celebrity. 
no no we not achieve no no we as as big artists or celebrity don't achieve anything by yourself no no we can't do nothing by yourself and i've said that on various occasions we absorb and soak up the energy of those around us and the people in my their own we contribute to the outcome of many hit song hit skits whatever it is that people love we for as artists are the people in round we provide that energy that feedback that instant feedback loop there will make you know so you're on the right path you can read the energy and feel it and the vibes we are whole man i smoke of a smoke and people are drink and it's a joy and you read the facial expression them and your sister this is great and it motivate you and the energy where you get from them you put right back in a way i try to create matters not if i know them right the song or, or whatever creation it is. The energy from them is a vital part of the outcome. And even the one that will contribute in a negative way will inspire. So let's say you pick up on a man there, you know, same kind of bad man and fuck up a little bit in a film self. And I give you a negative energy. Even that energy they contribute to the outcome of a hit or many hits. Now if I want to sit down and just have it to the youth, then they want to work and these hundred men don't serve no purpose. That's a foolishness, you know. It's a very vital job them, the youth them are doing. When you see them come at the stage show them with the hundred man them behind them. And a kind of reverence there. Where in a fool no eye these hundred man have for them, you know. Make uno respect them as a top artist, you know. Uno respect the artist more. When you see a man all lift him above the crowd or I hug him up and I lift him up or form a circle around him and I got through the crowd. It build the artist's prestige. The artist will come in a venue with them two bridge in them. Uno see them all now. So what kind of purpose Uno feels that them youth and serve? So I clear up that the youth them vital. But here enough of the youth them who can't explain. I know what they want to explain and can't explain where people overlook. Members say them youth here can't go do a nine to five, you know. While they might do this for this artist, you know, or this celebrity, you know. Because member now, you know, the youth them have all over the place with the artist. So you remove the option of him have a nine to five or any kind of side hustle. Where him can give any kind of focus or time, you know. Because of what the artist require him. You know. Well, if the artist don't consider, say, when you have this big name, the man in a, 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 a par behind you, can't go to them friend and family, go do certain, go, go, go ask for certain favors like what them could have used, to, like what them could have asked for him. You know. Cause ask them say, eh, everybody gotta remind them so oh, you are par with big big ray, and you beg me split. Oh, you are par with big big ray, and you borrow school fee for, for your picnic. And there's a whole heap of artists. Most of them do this. Even if pairing with them bring whole heap of opportunity, whole heap of people come around them, and you, you know there's a lot of opportunity. Them same one make sure instruct the youth them so they have to learn how to move, else they will pop down them thing and make it look little. little. They make them action, they make, it, make them look stupid. Are you a militant? Which is true, but 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 where them fi do? You think it easy if, if a man watch you make millions every day, and then be able to take set pan him, but oh him make money and hide it for that? Because him a pair with you as a big act. Of course, if you, if, if, if you go to the road, you have enough to move and conduct duck yourself a certain kind of way. I'm say that again, that is true. But you as an artist have to be considerate. So if you have to hold them foot when it comes to certain things, you have, you, have, you have to be mindful. You have to make sure, say, the entourage member that as a man who have you time yard, who have, who have a mother, a, a family to take care of. You have to consider it, else a man they are cut. It is natural. Because you don't have to feed them. Most artists often don't have the consideration. So they have to take care of these people, you know. And even that's still not as simple as the artists just fuck up and in the one and take care of the youths, them. Because in many cases, when people around you appear to be okay and not make no complaint, your mind has to put them over the path with everything, Chris. And you have to focus on the things that are out of place. I'm busy, I try to get those things into place. Them can overlook you. So what the best way to solve that? Open your mouth and talk. But the youth them now end up at fault. Because the artists are gonna feel that way so they don't say nothing. They might face the whole of them pressure here and they might keep it on the inside. And that have to become a certain bitterness and resentment towards the artist here and the celebrity end. But this ghetto code you now, man, a bad man. Man, a watch man things and oh, I'm gonna say something, man, I'm gonna feel like me, I pray. I'm gonna go complain like no body boy or no gal. So that means them, them, them don't do the one thing we can end all of the fuckery. And that's communicate. Communication make them feel like a bitch, man, whole man, oh, no, you're not, you're dealing. So them whole in where them want to say. And I hope, so the artists now, I go read their mind and give them what they want. 
Because no one piss off the artist because they want the artist to see them as a good youth. And not a pussy with a pre for money. So them stay quiet. And what them do? Them go behind the artist and attack a bag of team. Because again, they, they want the artist to see them as a good youth when they complain. Militant. But them kind of end result you can avoid. If we just straight up, and, and when you're going in a situation, you, you open your mouth and you explain what it is where you are from that, that, that situation. Yeah. So a man can clear as to what your motives or objectives are. So you say, all right, me get this, you get that, X, Y, Z, and we talk upon it, and everybody move forward with clarity. If we not do that, whenever somebody don't do that, it's going to be a thing now where with imagination turn against we. Because we create a bag of story in our head where we now bounce off of the other person. So we start guess about where the other person up to and create our own monsters where eventually become a downfall. Because when things don't go away, our God is way or we hope it go without communicate. Yeah, man, we bitch it out inside just like the girl who we cuss every day. But he wants somebody to read your mind when they can't do it. A judgment and destruction. One the man read with mine. And when they come to it enough time and say, You're good. Think, Chris, man. And when the man gone, he say, Pussy, you wouldn't even have a man. Nothing for jing. You know, say, You're oh, a body boy, do dog. We don't have a business approach. But we can just talk certain truth and certain things what we require and just leave with personal, the, the personal feelings out there. We just want people to read with mine. And when they not do it, we want to kill them. Again? Just like the girl them. Holy pa man. I don't have the same girl, but just in a different way. Again, the impression the outer road of, of an artist have a lot to do with these so-called fallaback. You know? The hundred car I drive with four-way flasher on and how would that come? These people make up the perception, you know, or how you view the artist, you know. Them contribute to the respect where the general public have for the artists. And the artists earn from that respect and admiration. And like me always say, there is no such thing as a hit song, only a hit situation. But everything come together to create a hit. You know? It's not just the words of the song or the singing of the song. It is the entire story. We have in how we think of a particular artist and how we see them. We could don't decide based upon the admiration. Eh? So whatever them give to is a hit. So the entourage help with more with like half of the work. Whether them write these songs or not. But again, one of the biggest problems is the youth them have these silent aspirations. Silent because them think it's gonna look away. Like them try to use somebody or like them are opportunists. So I'm stay silent and I hope man read in your mind. Stop it. Because again, sometimes the artists are pussy for you. And sometimes the artists just think you're not good. Because you know, nah, say you're not good. I mean, I tell every artist this too. A man start run behind you and follow your thing. And everywhere I'm there with you, you none of you are naive. Even though I know a few of you extremely narcissistic and fucking selfish. None of you are naive. All relationship, transactional. A man not done the guessing at them car or them bike. For nothing. They want something. Ask him how. I want to get it straight before you move forward. That way they know, for example, if you cannot afford to do a certain kind of thing and you pencil out that with a man, when a man have to make the sacrifice, him knows that there is nothing to expect at the end. Bring all of them things to the table and pencil it out first before they move. So there is no guessing and therefore no anxiety we are going to bring bitterness and resentment. But the truth is, many of you know, narcissistic and don't see the needs of the people around you. Know. Because it's all about me, me, Ness. Still news alert. Them youth that just rate me. Them no have no kind of obligations for them have to fulfill. They are just a done way around the place for them rate. And I run behind them because of ratings. That's it. Them no have a life. I just rate them rate me. But again, the youth them have to go to these man and make them know exactly what time it is. You have to go to a man because the boy dad I mean, say something you're busy, you know, X, Y, you can overlook certain things, you know, but at this minute, you know, or whatever. And if a man deal with the wicked after that, then you know what the pussy. This thing with me are the artist and me a god fuck up enough of them situation at all. Because them subconsciously feel that the youth them now no life. But the youth them have a life and obligations like everybody else. It's a real job. The professional entourage member. Remember me telling about that one day? It's a real job them do. 
you know it you know the strength where it takes to face the humiliation of people look on you like a run backer fall back so i realize that so you can't truly have an opinion of this are almost every situation because so much things there is so much possibility of what the problem is that is not intelligent for farm strong opinions you have to just observe and if you want to know the truth you have to stop to find it but that's what we can do and that's how we fall short because truth is not something you hear it's something you see the thing we separate you from truth is one thing we name time but based on the extreme everlasting competition where so-called civilization set up on we don't have that so we live a life where everything is a riddle but we are guests and think we know it but we truly know the time for allow life to give you the answer or I should have said the truth yeah man I remember one long time when I look at you that grew me to listen to RJR and you saw that thing with him. Quenched guess the wriggle. Most people are quenched. I guess we are guess about everything. And we not have no time for truth. I remember giving an example. Let's say two artists were in the same camp. Like how you see Papi and, and Quad are in the same camp now. And let's say them two artists they argue about a song or a concept. And one of them claim say a them come with the concept. And there's a complication start. If you are somebody we are going to listen for truth. Because usually in every conflict, two people accuse one another of the same thing. And usually one of them tell the truth. But how you know the truth? You have to go check out the story where it tell itself without words. Like for example, who first put it up on YouTube? Which interview the one you did mention the song or the concept you're in first? Who was the first to do this or that other thing? These are things that we have to find out and figure out for ourselves. But we're not time. So we're left with our own assumption. And don't realize that with the reality there, we don't truly have an opinion. But we are make up the things we form with opinion. Why you think when police are investigate crime, them can't use word of mouth or go off away the witness say? And because one or both party are go embellish or I should I say, them are go add on to make themselves look good. So police have to use the patterns we come off of certain actions. Because every action leave a trail in you know? them. But if you have time for the details we truly tell the truth. Why you think the dirty Babylon tell us, eh, the devil is in the details, I call them more afraid of the details, but the inner the details. God, I'm sure that's the objective, truth there. You know, if you kill up yourself, I wonder what you and what lie, you know. Everybody eventually expose themselves, no matter how them pretend. You ever hear them say, when they tell the truth, they don't have to try remember nothing. One day, them have to forget to try remember. Remember me tell you that. You can always trust them to be themselves. Because when them truly believe, is subconscious and it will come out in them action. Just observe. But as long as we don't have no time to stop and look beyond words, images and labels and the lie with them tell and go compare the evidence to itself in order to know what you we are going to always live a lie because we are too busy for truth and we are always end up and believe we own lie. Now consider how much people have up how much people and cut them off over what they think of you. It no matter where the popcorn or quadda or anybody were involved in this popcorn versus entourage thing, I go come out come say. Because most people are gonna process it how they want to see it and not how it is. Because they're gonna make it about them and not about the person where I tell them the problem. Because 90% of the time, them project or superimpose for them experience on top of what you try to tell them. In other words, them decide what every problem is based on fit them own experience. So for example, if them have a bad mind cousin. We, we climb tree back way for them and put them name in a duck and nest. That experience they become the frame of reference where they measure or assess every other conflict by. So anybody who try to tell them a problem, them instantly make it about them. Because a one conflict in the earth and the one with them have. I remember one time I telling about the girl I mean, I try to tell about certain things when I go through with my own mother. My mama get wicked and say a fuck me attack. Because guess what? Fear mother, nice. So when me I tell her about my experiences, me a pussy. Me no good. Because fear mother is a good person. We never deal with she, so. So all mothers are fear mother. Sorry if you bust in a bubble, but I saw the average person interpret reality. And watch that Davian, to what you say um, about most people around the artist, them, you know, seem to side with Quada, so that make Papi guilty. That can be true, of course. But more you can see the next possibility. Reflect on how me just say. Reflect on how me just say the average person thing. So now imagine if Pop can write in another situation, for example. And some of the man them secretly grudge him, which, which is a possibility. And, and, and this is a universal conflict. So let me not even see, use the word Pop can at this point. Let's say the person or the man then who is seen as the center or holder 
of, of, of all of the power in a certain situation. And that intimidate a couple of the men around him. Let's say him is right. And a principle him a deal with straight. The one they were jealous of him. I go go behind him back go try and mash up everything. Me experience that already. As a quint, them back anybody who has speak against him. In a, any kind of way. Because of them own insecurity. So even if the leader right, them not go split justice and, and, and talk objective truth. And say, boy, I don't like my brother here, you know, but you know him right. No. Them don't really care who really right. As long as who them don't like are going to end up wrong. Them don't like the person where them are back either. Them just eat the power broker or in this case popcorn more. And use who them are back to disguise them extreme envy. Now long before in the meantime, you know, hear me tell you, no, say. Them don't like Movado either. Them just eat cartel more. You remember that? So in another case, I know, so much is possible. Can you really sit down, stand up, or lie down there? And say so you have a strong opinion, where you sure about? No, you can't. Because in a time, if you go sieve out truth for yourself. Most of them can't handle nothing away. We require time. Few people complain, say, in the meantime, too long. And that is because, again, the truth is straightforward. You have to go into details to really understand the things we are causing a problem. So I will stop right here, so, with the party of the program. Because I don't want to chat too much and overdo it. Real purple people understand that the truth can, cannot be summarized. The summary can always point out the problem. But a time fix it. This is an objective truth. But if you don't have no time for truth, then my advice is set good for your hard backers where the long cocky lie where you live. I go go no. In a long run. In, a long run. In the meantime. In the meantime and between time, what is coming is coming. This section of the program is brought to you by Renaissance Immigration. The go-to people for everything related to immigration in Canada. Call them now, 437 and the consultation is absolutely free. Renaissance believes that as long as there was a way into immigration problem, there is always a way out. And do remember, forget my book, Planet Hurt, and uh, the revised version of my first book, which is The Road to Zion on Amazon. And do remember, say it's available locally in a JA Deals. That are the plaza across from the bus center. And go to www.jadeals.com for find out all of the rest of locations locally. Planet Earth is also available at selected locations of Kingston Bookshop. And for more information for locations where you can get the book, check the description. In the meantime. Alright, as I say, you know, you know, I've uh, been talking on this program about the narcissist, but I gotta go further into it. Because we hear this word being used loosely by many people who think them have a, a, a solid grasp on reality, who assume so everything where them see is black and white. Many of these people with, with, with PhDs, many of these people see the world just as black and white as the average person. And it make them no different in them expectation, them unrealistic expectation of people and things than the average person. Them is just as affected with the meanness or the egocentricity. Who them did have to use and simple-mindedly categorize certain behavior in an ABC way and put it in a box and ask people if they consider this type of behavior as just a particular person. Or a particular type of person when in reality it, it's not that simple. So what according to psychologists is narcissism. Or NPD then, narcissistic personality disorder. It is a mental condition which people have an inflated sense of their own importance. It is further characterized by a deep sense of entitlement. And the first man to identify it as a mental disorder is a British essayist named Havelock Ellis. In 1898. And as I said, this is a topic we've been a mention you know, a few times over the course of in the meantime. As the item know. But I'm going to do a series on the topic here. And I'm going to do it in the upcoming Rebellious Truth. Eh? Three years in the making. Don't ask me why, because I'm not even like a member. Alright, so if you look for the narcissist, you know, is the new trend. And everybody read the clinical definition of the word. And read all of the symptoms will make somebody a narcissist. And as usual, because of meanness, a.k.a. egocentricity, everything wrong with the world is something where we are witness, including the narcissist. And we are them. I mean, not have them bad ways here. Yeah. And that's because Steel News Alert again 
when we have to use these bad ways, we label it as something else. Me hungry, but you're greedy. You remember that? All right. Anyway, the problem is we, we see narcissism like everything else. as just black and white. Either you're good or you're bad. And this creates, to me, one of the most dangerous twin reality on the planet. Where a set of valuable traits in a human nature I often get rejected, sidelined, or overlooked because of what we think about people who use these traits in a negative way. So the twins in this case I know is the narcissist and the purple soldier who is the type of people we accept and embrace objective reality, objective truth in all things. And the fear of being a narcissist or any other thing with them label as bad is what keep most people in a them place. Afraid for do what is right. You can't just broad brush and say these traits where them name out your narcissist have is just overall bad. When in a reality the idea of good and bad is subjective. Means it depends on how you interpret what is good or bad. If me I gotta be honest, every single human being possess many of the traits I'm gonna name out and is fully capable of all of them. Alright, me I gotta show you how this oversimple thinking fuck up your life. Me I gotta name out some traits for them to make you narcissistic. And now we hide these traits because we believe that they matter some negative things. Number one, a lack of empathy. Them fail to recognize the feelings and emotions of others. That's still not so simple. Because let's say you have an objectively truthful understanding of something. For example, you know, the reality is a man can never be a woman in a the objective sense. Or the naturally natural sense then. Now think of an entire civilization, Western civilization, where Bill and the idea say lies can be true. We condition people for believe, say, other people can be responsible for the consequences of choices where, 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 where they make or don't make. Raise people for believe, say, they can shit out of them pussy or identify as a dog. Or another kind of example. Me can I encourage somebody and how them interpret the world them see it as discouragement, you know. In the eyes of these people who me know say not interpret reality properly, me is a narcissist, you know. Because them have feelings and emotions where them consider say me not recognize or are overlooking. You know? Number two, the narcissist rarely has long term friends. Alright, if we can all agree it's a good majority of, of people, especially in the Western Hemisphere, seriously brain damage. And them are some zombie where just a recite a script where the system give them without questioning it. We see the reality here every day. I don't make me I make it up. So no again. Steel news alert. Every problem is a much problem. So if a good 95% of people are idiot, we're we'll gonna have more friends. If the average person are idiot. The idiot will always read another idiot because the idiot think people with sense are idiot. So we're we'll gonna have more friends. When you as a sensible person ask an idiot if you have sense. So the 5% who sensible like fit the description of a narcissist. In the eyes of the 95% who see sense as foolishness. Maths. Alright, number three. The narcissist only associate with people on their level. Meaning the narcissist level. So is it common sense or narcissistic? If you surround yourself with those of like mind, mean the people you and them see eye to eye or go in the same direction. If you if you associate yourself only with people who not think like you, you have to go move in a pharmacy if you deal with the kind of headache you come from that cause you're gonna spend your life. I try to make the average person who is a zombie think like you. So what you gonna do now? Sit down and beg people for change just because you know one nobody see you as a narcissist. You can't be concerned about everybody's opinion and feelings. So if that make me a narcissist, fuck it. You know see how simplistic the average person think? Number four, a grandiose sense of self-importance. Well, isn't it very easy for your, for your civilization built totally upon indiscipline? We we'll make the average person have a total disregard for the kind of order we take to achieve any kind of greatness. See the person the way I endorse these disciplines as self-centered. To all me see it, if I simple-mindedly believe the definition of narcissism, it is apparent that it takes narcissism to be great. <laughs> or excel at anything at all where you do. Because we can bet Bolt and Shaggy and Mali and everybody. 
them did self-centered when them when they do what they do. Because based on even my personal experience, I can't enter the studio and make an album and they on the car at the same time. And I be a pre-ment whole heap of time. Not from everybody. But most people. You're selfish and, 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 and the janitor, and them on the switch. Oh, oh. Them traits are, 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 are human traits. We're not everybody. We become destructive if you have a particular way of interpreting the world. You need another name for people who use these traits in a positive way. But in a, my view, the man that twin they need a name, the other twin they need a name. So you can tell it apart from the narcissist where it get accused of being. In a, my view, the real narcissist are somebody where motivated completely by a low opinion of themselves for whatever reason. A person who cannot be motivated or encouraged despite whatever talents they possess or whatever they achieve. Fear run them entire life. So they end up use these natural human traits in a negative way. And the worst kind of narcissist were driven by the same low self-worth. Is the kind where have the confidence of somebody with discipline and them now no discipline. And that's why you see so much woman gone astray. Because so the system itself program them through everything where them believe from them born. And whether we like it or not, enough of them no conscious of it. Come enough people no understand what the subconscious is, you know. None at all, you know. Everything where the average woman, let me say it again, average woman, believe, lead them for believing a work smarter, not harder. Lead them for manipulate instead of cooperate. And the average man, still news alert. Is just like the average woman in a different way and think he is something else. Because just like she, in other areas of him life, for example, business, they might play the 48 laws of power, nonsense. Just like the woman, them, they want credit for what they not do. And boast about competence where they not have. Just like the girl when I want to lift a broom or boil an egg, they not even pick me them. But they want the credit. For being wife in the practical sense. Yes, me I do everything, but nothing at all. No so that is narcissist. Them can't work with nobody at all. Because of them insecurity about everyone and everything. Them stuck in a competition. Everybody of them competitor. They're not no balance when it comes to competition. Them and nobody else can important at the same time. One of the dead are under control. Them can't work with nobody at all. The fear where them have of everything and the pain where come from that lead them entire life. Them can't take encouragement and them suspicious of, of, of apologies. At a kind of extreme way they interpret reality through the lens of insecurity. Make them into a narcissist in a proper definition. Them one the way insecurity run them entire life. When obsessed with make everything look like say. Them not only simply like attention, which is natural. Them obsessed with it. Based on the civilization that most people come up in. The average person is the narcissist. Where they look for everybody. Look on social media. Now them you say I try to be the center of attention. Now them you say I take thousand pictures. For post one. Now them you say I got a river just to take picture And cut. God and yard. At them vibe of direction. No know where they go. And I have to make it up as them go along. Because them consider if you stop and focus in a particular direction, going for some kind of goal, as turning them into a real nobody. So they end up addicted to being a fake somebody. A them turn out to be the obsessive control freak, where them think the spiritually mature person is. Them and the people who are use these traits in a positive way look awfully alike. But them different. But to blanket everybody and, and call them the same thing. But with no reality, you know. So me know if I stand up as a man and run my house and discipline my people them and lead my woman then because I'm afraid say you call me narcissist. I try me I try to control her. It is not me I try to lead her in a positive direction and I encourage her to grow. Wish me could have tell enough I don't know why here, you know. But on a popularity contest me I run. An objective truth me I deal with. I see in a material world where yeah, hell that no welcome. But I don't pick that side there already. It is what it is. No found one I do like the rest of people and we are play intellectual gossip. 
and blame game in our nether way. I do the same things differently, like the gossip column. Them, nah, me can't do it. Me on go say with your uplift people, and that left up to interpretation. In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Time.